What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here in my garage, and my SeaTech charger is getting all beat up. Hey, if you have a charger like this, any charger really, but I want to talk about the SeaTech one. Uh, it's a great little charger. I've got it plugged into my Mazi right here, and it just sits on the garage floor when I'm charging in the back. And what you can see here is that this thing is getting all beat up, bought it brand new, you can see the scratches. Now it's functioning just fine, but one of the things that I'm worried about is as it gets moved around, um, as I unplug it and kind of push it off to the side and then drag it back, you know, I don't want it to get up, beat up any worse than it is. And I also don't want it to stop functioning and stop charging, which it's doing right there. So what can we do about it? So the way I'm gonna add a little protection to the, my SeaTech is with the SeaTech bumper. It's a 60. I hope I got the right one for the right size. I think they might all actually be the same size. Uh, they just have slightly different functions. So what we get here on this little bumper is, I think it's rubber silicone, and it just kind of goes around the edges and protects all the extremities. And here it is. This is how it comes. You can see that it's nothing overly impressive, but it's nicely made. Uh, obviously, as we stretch it out, the charger will go inside and it looks like this is molded around one because it's got that little inset edge there obviously cutouts on all sides so that you can still access everything we even have little raised feet on the bottom so it'll stay off the ground a little bit and then we have holes on the ends here so that the power going in coming from the SeaTac will or the power cord will be able to pass through there so I am just going to unplug it and kind of push the SeaTac through the openings here because I need the cords to go through there. Or actually what you can do, and I think what I'm gonna plan on doing is kind of putting it through the bottom, running the cords in through each side first and then putting this in up through the bottom. And then we will see if it works. All right, installed the cover and I love it. I love it, look at this. You know, the molding fits all the parts and the protrusions that you would expect. You know, I would actually suggest running the power cable the two power uh, through this hole first because this is a little bit smaller and it's a little easier to stretch it around there. But as you can see, covers up everything, which is pretty nice. And the best part about it is now when I put it on the ground, one, it doesn't make that clanking that the plastic did as it kind of knocked around, fell and slid around. And so you do have that, but it also kind of holds it in place a little bit better. And then it gives me just a little bit of peace of mind that the thing can take a little bit more abuse and I don't have to worry about it malfunctioning or dying prematurely. So I wish I had gotten this when I got the SeaTech. I, it didn't really dawn on me that this thing sits on the garage floor, or maybe in your trunk or whatever, and kind of gets beat up. So it just adds a little bit of uh, protection and safety to it. So if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Mount Panda, out.